Wednesday, 2nd of September 2020. I've done the Swanage, um, just got out of bed, and um, it looks like a really nice day. And this is the view from my uh, window. So, there's the sun up there. There's the beach. And there's the bay that I'll be on uh, very shortly. A couple of people on a tent down there. Been keeping out all night and doing some fishing for their breakfast now. I think. Very nice. So pedal ballers out in the bay. So I'm uh, staying at the Grand Hotel. It's looming a bit for me because it's only three stars, but it's all right. It's my hire car for the day couple of days. And there's the beast ready to roll. So uh, we seem to be up and running, we're on the water and um, there's a shoreline behind me, just heading out to sea a little bit. Very nice. There are quite a few uh, cafes along here, uh, so I shall be uh, frequenting one for a cup of coffee and a bun later on. Um, sea is a little bit choppy, which is fine. A little bit more breezy than I'd like. Um, it's okay. So, um, just come along the uh, along the uh, the bay. That's uh, nice and sheltered. Oh, sun's coming out of it. That's good. And uh, just behind me is the um, is the sort of the centre of Swanage, which isn't really very big. Um, partly close to traffic, which is good, but not. Not bad little uh, row of houses there, but. Nice in the summer. In the winter, not so sure. There's the slipway and the ship in. And behind me is the uh, fish and chip shop, which I think is the best one in Swanage, which. Uh, me and my old mate John Rennie used to uh, come to on a regular basis. Um, I went there yesterday, £7.90, cotton chips. You could, have, you could have fed Wellington's army on it. There was so much of it. Incredible. New potatoes for the chips, very nice. It starts getting a bit seedy around here. That doesn't last too long. And they're coming up to the pier, which uh, I'm assuming I can uh, go straight under. Oh, I don't hit that boy. You have to pay to go on this pier, although I suppose it helps to keep it in good repair. It's not a bad thing.
So uh, it's still quite breezy a bit. Um, there's a bloody uh, ferry behind me. Well, I didn't get aware of that. Um, there's the uh, There's the cliffs ahead, where I might go this afternoon, a bit further down. Old Harry Rocks maybe, don't know if I'll get that far. Yeah, it's getting a bit choppy. There's the uh, shore over there, so I suppose I'm about a mile and a half out or something. Far enough. So I think I might uh, just start heading inland a little bit. So the, um, the GPS puts us about a mile out to sea. I was going to head for that beach straight ahead, but it's probably just a bit too far. So I think I might just uh, head in, get a cup of coffee. Weather is okay, not brilliant, but okay. I'm supposed to be getting um, a bit uh, more breezy, rainy later on, so I don't really want to be out too late. So, uh, I changed my mind and um, I was going to do Old Harry Rocks for the summer, but the weather's getting up and uh, it's getting a, bit, um, getting a bit breezy and choppy, so I'm going to head in. Geology. So this beach here, which is just kind of um, east of um, Swanage, is completely empty and uh, just speaking with a gentleman there, he said it's empty in the summer as well. So next time I come, I must have a look here because it looks really, it's a really lovely beach. So we're heading for um, sort of straight ahead. Coffee and a slice of uh, Victoria sponge, I think. So uh, just landed. Uh, you can see by the um, flags it's quite breezy and uh, just had a few spots of rain so people are actually uh, packing up and leaving the beach I think because they probably know that uh, there's some rain afoot so uh, it's coffee time stick the wheels on and uh, cup of coffee and haul ass up to the uh, hotel I think. <laughs> 